Okay, today I wanted to talk about something that happened in December 2022 uh, on French television on the channel C8. And uh, because I think it's representative, because I, I think it's representative of the functioning of developed state in, and the link between the media, the financial powers, and political power. So what happened, basically, it's a clash between the organizer of the show called TPMP and a left deputy, a radical left deputy that uh, threatened the power. So the subject was the illegal, illegal migration, from, especially from Africa. And the, uh, should we, and the question was, should we welcome them? And uh, Louis Boyer tried to explain that the most important thing was the cause of the migration uh, and not the consequences. And uh, he explained that this migration was caused by the impo impoverishment and destruction of the African continent, in particular due to the exploitation of the continent's natural resources, in particular by large French industrialists. The problem is that the boss of the organizer of the show called Vincent Bolloré uh, was uh, one of these French industrialists and it put Cyril, Cyril Hanouna, so the, the, the organizer, in a mental state very uh, very bad mental states, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Parce que aujourd'hui en France, vous avez 5 personnes qui possèdent autant que 27 millions de personnes. Et les 5 personnes les plus riches, les, ce sont les mêmes personnes qui appauvrissent la France et elles appauvrissent l'Afrique. Je vais vous donner l'exemple rien que de Bolloré, qui a déforesté le Cameroun. L'exemple de Pouyanné, de chez Total, qui est en train de faire un projet au Ouganda. Le type refuse de taxer les super. Vous voulez du coup, je vais vous donner ce que je vais vous Excuse-moi, excuse-moi, excuse-moi. Excuse-moi, excuse-moi. Moi, mon chéri. Les députés, ils représentent le peuple. Le peuple, voilà, c'est un exemple. Non, mais tu sais que t'es dans le bouclier. Donc ici, t es, t es, t es, t es, tu viens ouais. de parler de, du groupe Bolloré. Tu sais que t'es dans ouais. le groupe Bolloré ici. Ouais. Bah Bolloré, il a un procès non, donc, avec 150 donc, personnes viens, au Cameroun au sujet de la dévastation dans l'huile de palme. Hein Tu viens foutre ici. Mais j'ai aucun problème. Parce que Bolloré t'a donné de l'argent parce que t'es chroniqueur ici. Et j'ai aucun problème à le dire. Aucun problème. Non, t'as aucun problème à travailler pour nous. Attends, Cyril. Attends. Est-ce que tu es en train de me dire que j'ai pas le droit de dire publiquement que Bolloré, il a un procès avec 150 personnes parce qu'il a déforesté Et t'es en train de dire que j'ai pas le droit de dire que c'est une chaîne Non, mais dans ce cas-là, dans ce cas-là, dans ce cas-là, boycott la chaîne. Oui. And from there, uh, he will no longer let him develop his point of view. So you can see an obvious case of censorship, but it's a very bad case because the simple evocation, as an example, as a simple example in his, his point of view, in a global argumentation, ends up with a, a reaction of, of uh, Cyril Hanouna, uh, a very excessive reaction. He won't let me, him talk simply after that so just because it's his boss and the owner of the channel he can't criticize him so that, that's my first point very obvious and second point it's a very polarized debate because they have little signs and they can tell say yes or no uh, we should uh, welcome them in france whereas they, what they should do is that try to find arguments that go in one in one way and other arguments that go in other ways. No, you have to choose yes or no. There is no, absolutely no uh, criti critical mind, actually. And third of all, the personalization of the debates. Because Syria and started to, to attack Louis Boyer personally. He told him that uh, he wanted to buzz. He told him that uh, he, he insulted him. So it was a, a very, um, it was a very personalized debate after that. After that. Cyril Hanouna didn't, didn't uh, start to talk about the arguments of Louis Boyer. No, he started to attack personally Louis Boyer. T'es qu'ici, t'as même pas de liberté à l'Assemblée nationale. Dès que tu bah, parles, il ferme ta gueule. Dès que tu parles, il ferme ta gueule. Dès que tu parles, il ferme ta gueule. T'es sérieux ou quoi T'es un irresponsable, Cyril. Tu fais du mal à la France. Tu fais monter le racisme en France. Et on a même pas le droit de critiquer Bolloré sur ta chaîne. Je suis le premier à défendre le racisme ici. It would be a very interesting debate to... to you know, to talk about uh, the fact that, uh, to talk about the arguments in themselves. No, he preferred to insult him and uh, and attack him personally. And last thing linked with with the personalizations, it's it's uh, and the polarization. It's that 
Now it's polar it's a polarization on the the persons of Louis Boya and Cyril Hanouna. You're not defending the point of view of one one of them or the other. No, you're defending Louis Boya or Cyril Hanouna. There is this is even worse. There is no nuance to, to know uh, if uh, s s some things that both parties say are c could be right. It's it's even more. It's on the persons of Louis Boya and Cyril Hanouna that makes the absolutely nonsense debate on, on my opinion absolutely not constructive debate so this is very important for me to talk about this because it's a uh, we see how uh, the the media owned by by uh, a, bi a billionaire in particular like most medias uh, currently in, in the developed countries can use their, uh, their their medias for very obvious uh censorship cases but most most of the time, it's not that obvious, and th this is a problem. This case, this is obvious, but in my opinion, it's representative. It's a, it's an obvious rep representation of the functioning of global media's of developed states. So I really wanted to talk about this.